didn't go to lesson four for today. And then when you're there, go ahead and go to tab two for this. Before we get started with what we're doing today, I'm just going to show a little recap video of the Prometheus myth. So you can just look up here for this. Okay, so that was just a little recap of what we've read. Um, so look back here at our objectives for today. So we're going to read these together, and while we're reading these, we're going to point out the important parts in the objective. So let's go ahead and start. So I can, I can connect Zeus's punishment to details of Prometheus's actions and character to decide whether the punishment is fair or unfair. Okay, what's an important part here? Okay, Kelix. Uh, Choose one word. Uh, uh, okay, punishment. What's another important word? Addison. Okay, unfair, and then let's also go ahead and choose fair as well. Is there any other ones? Evan? Okay, yeah, we have to decide if, their punish, if his punishment is fair or unfair. For who? For Prometheus? Okay. What are we supposed to look at to decide, though? Colton? Okay, his actions is one. What's another one? Okay, Haven? His character to decide whether he was doing it for, the, like, the people or himself. Okay, yeah, so his character. So that's what we're looking at to decide if it's fair or unfair for the punishment. Okay, so let's look at the second objective. So we're going to read this one together. So I can, I can write a claim about whether I think Zeus's punishment of Prometheus is fair or unfair using evidence from the text. Okay, so what's something important here? Okay, Maddie. Okay, yeah, punishment again. What's the verb here? Allie? Okay, yeah, we're doing what with a claim? Right, we're writing a claim now with the punishment if it's what? Fair or unfair. 
And then what's the last part that we need? Evidence. Right, using evidence now. Okay, so evidence would be the last part that's really important for today. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the tab two. Okay, so before we get started, let's kind of review with our question from yesterday. So it was, is Zeus correct that humans should not have fire? So we did a vote on that and then we wrote about that yesterday, right? Okay, so if you look at the yellow pieces of paper, we have Zeus is incorrect back there, and then we have Zeus is correct up here. So go to the, um, go to the picture that you chose yesterday and wrote about. Okay, so there's a because blank because I want your reason that you chose yesterday. So what was your reason for, um, from yesterday that you chose? Okay, Nicolius, you're on the Zeus is incorrect side. So Zeus is incorrect. Humans should have fire because why? Because now that you put with the side. How's that important? Because it's really raw meat. Okay, yeah, there's bacteria in raw meat, right? Okay, let's hear from someone over here. Um, finish out the yellow piece of paper, Addison. Okay, and that was, that was from the text, too. So wars were happening as a result of what? Of um, Prometheus giving them fire. Right. And um, so let's go ahead and go on back since we have that question fresh on, fresh on our mind now. Okay, since we made that decision yesterday, we're deciding if Zeus's punishment of Prometheus is fair or unfair. So how does that connect to yesterday's question? How does this connect to yesterday's? All right, Jacqueline. Yeah. So yesterday's question was, is Zeus correct that humans should not have fire? And then today's is, is Zeus's punishment of Prometheus fair or unfair? What was? Okay, what was Prometheus's punishment? Yes. What was happening with his organs? Uh, they, like, eat it and what was? Yes. Okay, right, Jake Highland. The vultures were tearing out his liver and it would grow back again every single day. So we're having to decide if we think that that was a fair punishment or not, right? Today. Um, okay, so with that on tab two, go ahead and look at paragraph 15. So go to paragraph 15. Okay, so we need 15 to be able to answer the questions out to the right. Okay, so we're going to reread this real quick. So it says, Zeus was full of rage. He seized his largest thunderbolt. So they want fire, he said to himself. I'll give them fire, more than they can use. I'll turn their miserable little ball of earth into a cinder. But then another thought came to him, and he lowered his arm. No, he said to himself, I shall have vengeance and entertainment too. Let them destroy themselves with their new skills. This will make a long, twisted game interesting to watch. I'll attend to them later. My first business is with Prometheus. Okay, so at your tables, go ahead and answer these questions off to the right. 
so you can work. And supports that best here. Okay, Nicolius, what supports that best? What's it say? Okay, let them destroy themselves with their new skills. Okay, so what do you picture is going on when he says that with the humans? They're going to end their own race by killing each other off. Okay, with what? As a result of what? Fire. Right, with the fire. Okay, so that would match up with that best then. Okay, so we're not going to go over three. We're going to go ahead and go on to the next bubble here. Okay, so it says right here, how could the fact that Prometheus does not change his mind relate to his endless punishment? Um, so with that, go to paragraph 18. Go to paragraph 18. Okay, can I get someone to reword the question that's there? What's it saying, basically? It's basically saying, like, why did, um, uh, uh, how could Prometheus done better to possibly change the mind of Zeus to, end, um, to shorten his endless punishment? Like, why does he change his mind? Okay, and what's that supposed to connect to? His punishment, right? Okay, so let's reread this right here on 18. So it says, many centuries he lay there until another hero was born brave enough to defy the gods. He climbed to the peak in the Caucasus and struck the shackles from Prometheus and killed the vultures. His name was Heracles. Okay, so now go back to the question. So how does the fact that Prometheus doesn't change his mind relate to the punishment then? So how can we connect these two with this paragraph? So think about it for a second. So how is that punishment connected? Um, because, um, so look at just the first sentence right here. Reread this first sentence to yourself. What does it mean to defy? Oppose. Oppose, so go against, right? So the fact that he doesn't change his mind relates to what? He doesn't change his mind about defying the gods, so how does that relate to something here? Johanna? Right. So the fact that he is getting, he's supposed to have this punishment like for forever, right? Just like the fact he doesn't change his mind. Okay. So that's how they connect. Okay. So that's what you would put over here then to answer that. So the link between 
Prometheus not changing his mind connects to his endless punishment. And we could actually come up with a theme for this too. So like a lesson here. Remember how last week I brought up the word ignorance? Okay, what does ignorance mean? Okay, Haven, what does it mean? Right, to not know something. So with the fire, what was it representing? What was Prometheus giving them? What was the fire representing here? About someone I have not heard from today. Okay, Dylan, what's the fire supposed to represent? Um, like something that they can help and believe in, and like the, where they can get hope to see and stuff. Okay, so the antonym for ignorance is what? Allie? Carson, do you know the antonym for ignorance? Grateful. Not grateful. You know something. You have intelligence. What is that called? Nicolius? Knowledge. Knowledge, right? Okay, so how could I make a theme out of knowledge from this? Sometimes knowledge creates what? I heard somebody say it a second ago. Starts with an S. Yeah, sometimes knowledge is sacrifice. So how did, how did that happen with Prometheus here? Okay, Autumn. Right, he sacrificed himself in order to give the humans fire, which was knowledge, right? So that's how we could come up with a theme for this. Okay, so you can go ahead and hand that in. And what we're about to do here on tab three is this is going to serve as a basis for our claim that we make, okay? So this is helping us with that. Okay, before we get started, I want you to go ahead and look at paragraph 15 and 16. So go ahead and find 15 and 16. Actually, specifically, look at 16. So our question for today was if the punishment was fair or unfair, right? Okay, so we're going to keep that in mind while we read this. So it says, he called his giant guards and had them seize Prometheus, drag him off to the Caucasus, and there bind him to a mountain peak with great chains specially forged by Hephaestus, chains which even a titan in agony could not break. And when the friend of man was bound to the mountain, Zeus sent two vultures to hover about him forever, tearing at his belly and eating his liver. So we have to go ahead and decide right here if we think that the punishment is fair or not. But before we do that, let's look at 15 and 16 again. And I want you to highlight one piece of evidence in red that shows that the punishment is fair. And then I want you to highlight one piece of evidence from 15 or 16 that shows that the punishment's unfair. Okay, so you're looking at 15 and 16 right now. How many highlights do you need? Two. And what's the one, what's one of them supposed to be for? If the punishment is fair, what should your other highlight be for? Unfair. Right, if the punishment's unfair. Okay, 16. Okay, what there makes it unfair? 
And you picked that for unfair or fair? Unfair. Unfair. Okay, how's that unfair? I feel that that's unfair because even though it grows back every day, I still think it's unfair because um, he has to go through the pain of that every day for the rest of like eternity until like Hercules. So think about his actions, though, like his intentions. Why did he decide to do that in the first place? He decided to do that because he found out that uh, her, what's his name? Prometheus, Prometheus um, gave fire to humans, and he didn't want him to, so he gave him a punishment that will last his whole life. Okay, yeah. All Prometheus was doing here was trying to help the humans out, right? So that could be a good point for the unfair side. Okay, let's hear from someone with the fair side. The punishment is fair, and that's what we needed to highlight as well. Okay, we need to look at both sides. Hang on one second. So one reason why it could be fair would be the fact that Prometheus defied Zeus, right? So he went against what he said. So that could be one reason why the punishment's fair. So what could be something to support that in either of these two paragraphs? <coughs> or how about this? What paragraph does it say that Zeus talks about how he defied him? He went against him. What paragraph was that? Was it in 15? Okay, let's look. Hmm. It might not be in 15 or 16 for this one. Where does it talk about the defiance here? 18? Okay, so we could look outside of 15 and 16 and look at 18 here. Okay, so what's it say here to support it being a fair punishment? Okay, so another hero was defying the gods, which implies what? Who also defied the gods? Prometheus, right? Okay, yeah, so this kind of supports the fair side. So we could highlight that in red as well. So that goes with it being fair. Oh, that's a good point. So Ali said the fact that someone did eventually free him, the punishment he was able to get out of, right? I mean, so that could be a way of it being fair. Still not fair because he still had liver coming out multiple times. <laughs> that too. Yeah, but still he had to go through the pain. And the pain doesn't stop. And that doesn't, like, pain just doesn't just stop. But either way, you just have to look at both sides of it, Evan. Either way, you still have to look at both sides of it. Okay, so we needed the two reds so that you could think about it. Um, whichever side you chose, go ahead and paste your evidence into the box. So go ahead and paste your evidence you end up choosing into the box. So first, you're going to say right here on number one, if you think that it's fair or not. So it's up to you. And then down here is where you're going to put your evidence that supports it. Yes, just one of yours that you chose goes in here. 
Okay, um, once you have found your evidence that you chose, you only have what? how many highlights do you have in that box? One. one, right? Okay, so put your one you chose on your sticky note. So pass them out to your group members at your table. Put your name on the sticky note and then write your evidence down you chose. Just leave them there and I'll get them at the end. Yes, what you put in here. You're writing right here. You're only putting your evidence because you, right up here you've already chosen unfair. Yeah, so it'll be. So don't forget your name on there. You're only going to put your evidence down right here, and that's it. There's one over here and then one over there. So this one over here, it says Zeus's punishment of Prometheus is fair. If you believed it was fair, you're going to put it over here, your sticky note in the third period side. And then over there, it says Zeus's punishment of Prometheus is not fair. So if you don't think it was fair and you took that evidence down, you will put that over there on the third period side. Okay? So as soon as you're done, go ahead and put your evidence where it belongs. Yep. And I'm going to get you to share yours here in a second. Three, two, one, go on back. Okay, um, let's hear from this side first because we have the least amount of evidence for this side. So this one was saying Zeus's punishment of Prometheus is fair, and I think Colton had some good evidence for his. So Colton, read us your evidence you chose. Um, I, chose for the belly. I can't hear you. Say it a little bit louder. Okay, so Colton's saying that the fact that all of these wars have happened from people getting fire is the reason why Prometheus deserves that punishment. So that's why he's saying it's fair. So that's a good, um, good reason to support that side. Okay, so let's hear from someone over here on the not fair side. So if you have your evidence, You should have your hand up for this side and you're wanting to share it. Let's hear from someone I haven't heard from today. Uh, Royal, go ahead and tell us your evidence. Now, wait a second. That was the same one Colton had, but this is for a different side now. Okay, so let's hear your reason for this. Okay, so there was a whole lot of good with people getting fire too, right? So there's not a right or a wrong side, right? You just have to have evidence to support your side either way. Okay, so that was a good example there too. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this in right here. So we did this so that you could have your claim ready for our next thing. Okay, so go ahead and go to the writing part here that's on tab four. And let's do a little warm-up first. 
Okay, so raise your hand if you think Prometheus knows that Zeus did not want humans to have fire, but gave it to them anyway. So you knew this. Okay, what side would that support then, if he knew? Right, so point. Okay, so it would be the fact that his punishment is fair then, if you chose that. Okay, um, raise your hand if you think that no matter what someone did, Prometheus's punishment does not fit the crime. Okay, what side does that go for? Okay, right, it goes for the not fair side with his punishment. Okay, so we already kind of have a claim drafted up here from tab three. Um, go to bubble two so you can see what your prompt is. Okay, so our prompt aligns with today's question. So it says, is Zeus's punishment of Prometheus fair or unfair? It says use three reasons to support your claim, but what we're going to do instead is follow to seek for this, okay? So look over here. So we're going to have our topic sentence, which is going to serve as our claim, right? Okay, so our topic sentence comes from where? Okay, what did you say, Joel? Nope, it comes from what we just did on the last activity. Okay, so um, you might go ahead and answer the prompt first. You might say something like, Zeus's punishment of Prometheus is fair or unfair because why? And then you would give me your reason that we were just talking about. Okay, so go ahead and follow to seek for this. Don't worry about the second part of this. I just need your one reason, your evidence that you have to support it, elaborate, and then conclude it. Okay, so we're going to spend eight minutes on this, okay? So follow to seek for this. Okay, hang on a second. He's finishing this out. So he's saying that it was too violent of a punishment. Okay, so let's hear yours now. Another reason is that fire probably won't last forever and he gave him life on the mountain. Who gave him life? Oh, okay, yeah. So Zeus did that, so that's why it's unfair. Is that what you're saying? Okay. So do you have any other reasons here, Evan? Anybody? Uh, I mean, getting your guts ripped out. Day by day, even though they grow back, pain is pain. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it was too violent. And he probably can make more because he could probably make more fire. He didn't have to. Just... They would discover it eventually anyway. Yeah, so it was going to happen anyway. So why like do so, such a violent something, punishment? Okay. So if you're wanting to do that, the response part, stay right here. Okay, um, for those that want to share what they wrote, go ahead and go to bubble two. Okay, so on here you should be able to see what you just wrote. Okay, if you're wanting to share, I want you to tell me your first sentence that you have. Okay, so tell me your claim statement. So your claim, it should tell us what side you're on and then your short reason why. Okay? Okay, Haven, what was your sentence here? What's your because for that? Why is it unfair? Oh, it was unfair because the fire was deadly and they blew them. They were freed me from the storms. They took their meat, which was any division of Noah, and they used it to help each other. 
okay. So it was unfair because they were doing those things for the good of themselves, right? The humans were? Okay. Um, somebody respond to what Haven just said. So Haven, repeat that to us. Okay, so that was for the unfair punishment side, right? So how about we have someone respond that was on the fair punishment side? Okay, Colton, respond to that. Okay, so Colton's saying that you have some valid points, but you don't have to just eat meat to survive. I mean, so there's two sides to that, right? Um, let's hear from one more person to share that, what they wrote for their sentence. Okay, Johanna, go ahead. Okay, and what evidence did you use to support that? From what you wrote, what did you put as evidence? Okay, it should have quotes around it if it was evidence. So what text evidence supports it? Do you want to go ahead and find evidence first? It should be something you've already highlighted. Okay, does someone have evidence to support the unfair side, unfair punishment side? Okay, Addison, what's your, what's your evidence for that? Yeah, he could have just taken the fire back anyway. So it couldn't have been, he made it a big deal is what you're saying. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and go to our wrap up poll. So we're about to vote here. Um, let's go ahead and choose our final verdict. So now that I've seen what happened to the humans and to Prometheus, I believe this. So go ahead and choose here and we'll see how you voted. So most of us have picked here um, that Zeus is incorrect, that humans should not have fire, and he punishes Prometheus unfairly. Um, but also we do have some people that think he's correct and should not have fire, and he punishes Prometheus fairly. So we don't really have a whole lot of the in-between people right here, right? Okay, so with that, we're going to go ahead and move into our exit ticket. And it's just one question here. So go ahead and go to your exit ticket. And I want you to answer this by yourself. And once you finish, go ahead and go to the vocab app if you finish early.